Okay. I was wondering, uh, we talked about happiness earlier, right? I was, uh, so let's say I become eternally happy or I'm attaining eternal happiness. Does that make me closer to God? I'm confused as, in terms of is God the medium towards eternal happiness or is eternal happiness the medium towards God? Or are they the same? What are the vice versa? 50 ways. We should make it a point not to get caught up in semantics. God is happiness. Happiness is God. If you don't like the word happiness, use peace. If you don't like the word peace, use joy. If you don't like the word joy, use whatever you want to use. But that is God. Who is God? Your God. God is the self. God is life. God is spirit. Whatever you want. This is God manifested. The spirit is God unmanifested. So it's just a matter of semantics. So this atheist, the question that was raised about the atheist, who had the, said that this morning, right? So the atheist probably doesn't believe in God with form. But if push comes to shove, most people turn to God, can you save me in my time of difficulty or you know, my time of stress? People always resort to God. So whether that's God with form or without form, but people resort to that um, energy, power, whatever you want to call it, that's higher than themselves. So that is that peace and that happiness I was talking about this morning. So realizing God is realizing absolute happiness. It's the same. Following up with that, if I feel like if I'm happy, then am I aware of the spirit? Mm -hmm. But then if I'm aware of the spirit, I don't know, I tend to later become the spirit. You're never not the spirit. That's something we should really be aware of. <laughs> <coughs> okay, question. Anything that's created is subject to destruction. destruction, right? Based on what you said, if I attain realization, if I reach realization, what does that stay, say about that statement? That it's subject to go away too. But the word realization itself implies that you're already that. You just don't know it. Realizing is I've already done it, or I'm already that, and now I'm realizing. Like a mistake. I realize my mistake. It means I've already done it, and now I'm only aware of it. I realize I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm already going in the wrong direction. Now I've realized it. So when you recognize happiness, what you're doing is you're realizing more that, hey, I am that spirit. I'm not these limiting adjuncts. And our biggest problem is we keep forgetting. Because I know after this camp, everyone will be much more enlightened. Yes, I am the source of happiness. And that will go for a week. And the next week, it'll be my girlfriend or boyfriend is the source of my happiness. And the week after that, it'll be the food I eat. Right? Because we forget that that happiness is coming within from me. Um, so realization is stopping forgetting. Like where you don't forget anymore. Where you know for sure, without doubt, that I am that spirit. So yes, you are more aware of the spirit when you recognize that that happiness is within you. Um, so, so in happiness, we say that we are that happiness already, so we don't need to pursue it, right? So, um, why do we pursue realization? I mean, I, well, maybe I'm using like wrong terminology, but like, if they seem the same concept, if not the same thing, we just like, we talk about them separately. So, but it, it seems to me, because doesn't every ego eventually attain that with like at some point? So, like, guaranteed, right? <laughs> so, I don't know, but like, it's not, it, but what I'm saying is like, so why should you, why do we want to be realized when it's coming to us, eventually? Do you hate happiness? <laughs> so that's it, there's your answer. The one who pursues realization is the one who desires happiness more than the next person. Because they've recognized that it's absolute happiness. But I thought we don't pursue happiness, we... It, it's us already. But we don't know it right now. So what we're doing is we're trying to end our forgetfulness. We are already realized. That's un, undoubt, without doubt because that which is infinite is not subject to creation or destruction. So we are that spirit, that unqualified spirit. The problem is we've forgotten it. And so what pursuing realization is, is to end that forgetfulness. 
Now, all of us one day will stop forgetting. All of us will realize that, hey, I am that happiness, that spirit. The person who's doing it now just appreciates that happiness more, has realized it within themselves. So Ayur Prakashananda uses the example that we're all logs floating down a river and we're all going to reach the ocean eventually. Only some people have chosen to put a motor on their log because they want to get there faster. They know that, hey, that's the purpose of life. So swamis, sadhus, etc. There are people that have motors on their logs. All of us, we're trying to go in the opposite direction. Because we're dumb. <laughs> We attribute happiness to be an emotion. It's not. We try to think of it as an object. It's not. Happiness is not even an experience. The happiness you and I talk about, we tend to qualify it as an emotion. But that's something that's limited by the mind. Like, I can only be as happy as my mind lets me. And when I reach that state of realization, it's not an experience. Like, do you experience that you're a female right now? It's not an experience, it's just naturally who you are. Correct? I hope. <laughs> so in the same way, our true nature is not an experience, it's not a state. It's just naturally who we are. You can't qualify it by any of that. So this idea of we tend to think, you know, when I use the term happiness, everyone immediately thinks then there should be unhappiness. We immediately think of it as an emotion. But it's way beyond that. It's not limited by, an emotion is something that the mind feels. But realization is, and God is beyond the mind. So it's not an emotion. Now in regards to creation and illusion and all of that, <laughs> um, you've seen the matrix before? So is the matrix really there? Is the mirage really there? Is the mirage there? So is there creation? 